You might have heard something about African dust over the past few days, and it's making its way to East Texas. How did it get here, and what does it mean for us? Well, here's meteorologist Michael Behrens. Well, good evening to you. We've been watching for some what you would call Saharan dust or African dust around the region this afternoon. This live shot over Tyler around 3 o'clock. You couldn't see any dust over the city, but as you look toward the horizon, it starts to look a little bit tan, and that's where we're watching for some of that dust to work its way our direction. Now, the winds at the upper levels, you can see it blowing the clouds sort of in this direction, and that's bringing that dust toward us. Now, you can't see it here on this satellite image, but this is the Goes East geocolor image brought to you by by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association. You can see that sort of dust area down here where it gets a little tan. That's that Saharan dust. So as the name might imply, it does come from the Saharan desert. The winds, they blow across the desert and given the right conditions, they can blow that dust all the way across the ocean and even into East Texas if the conditions are right for it. And they're kind of that way right now. So what does that mean for us here in Tyler and Longview? Well, for today, not much. But as we head toward tomorrow, the air quality becomes more of a moderate concern the southern counties closer to Houston, a moderate concern today and a moderate concern as we head into tomorrow. Now those dust concerns will be in the forecast for the next several days. So if you are in a sensitive group or you have asthma, do keep that in mind as you're heading outside. For 19 Now, I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.